Find the equation of the plane parallel to the plane x plus 2y minus 3z equals 4 and passing through the point 2, 0, 4. So, let's think about what we're given here. We know that we want the equation of the plane that passes through this given point. So we can say that our point p naught is defined here by the ordered triplet 2, 0, 4. And we're also given a plane that we want the new plane to be parallel to. So we'll just call this our parallel plane. And our parallel plane here is defined as x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 4. And we know, of course, that the normal vector of this plane is important. So let's say that the normal vector of this first plane, n sub 1, is defined or has the components defined by the coefficients of the variable. So 1, 2, minus 3. So those are the components of this normal vector. And so why is this normal vector important, you might be asking? Well, we know that two planes are parallel if their normal vectors are scalar multiples of each other. In other words, if the normal vector of the first plane is equal to a scalar multiple of the normal vector of the second plane. So in order to find the equation of this new plane parallel to the given plane, we simply need to select any scalar multiple of this n sub 1 that we want. So the easiest normal vector to choose, or excuse me, the easiest normal vector would be to simply let c be 1. So we'll use this same normal vector to find the equation of the new plane. So here we go. Let's go ahead and find the equation of the new plane. So we're using, again, p naught defined by the order triplet 204, and we're just going to use this same normal vector as this given plane because it will produce a parallel plane. So by definition, we need to take the dot product of the position vector with our normal vector. So this will be x minus 2, y minus 0, z minus 4, and we're dotting this with the vector normal to the plane and parallel to the given plane, 1, 2, minus 3. And this should be equal to 0. So by definition of the dot product, this leaves us with 1 times x minus 2 plus 2 times y minus 3 multiplied by z minus 4 is equal to 0. And now we can simplify. We'll distribute this negative 3 through to both terms, leaving us with x minus 2 plus 2y minus 3z plus 12 is equal to 0. And we have two constants that we can combine. Minus 2 plus 12 leaves us with 10. So therefore, the equation of the new plane is defined as x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to negative 10. And this would be our beautiful final answer.